Let's listen to this brief example. This is a clip I found from a show in Canada called Kim's Convenience. As you listen to it, consider what pre-listening questions you could ask to students. Who in washroom? Oh, just a customer. I told you no more customer using washroom. Too much cleaning. I can't tell them no. It's a basic human right. When you have to go, you have to go. Fine. I tell them. We really appreciate you letting us use the washroom. <laughs> Do you have something to say to the nice people? Thank you. Do you have a something to say to nicer people? Yes. Are oh, you welcome? I you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. I get mop. Little boy is a pea sprinkler. Yeah, so what if he gets some pee on the floor? One time I find the pee on the ceiling. How you do that? Maybe a light go off, but he gets scared, confused, doesn't matter. I... Washroom is a basic human right. <laughs> Everyone needs a washroom. <laughs> hey, where's your can? Out of order. Try next door. Okay, well, here are three different pre-listening questions that I might ask to students in order to set the context and to elicit their prior knowledge. You own a shop. Would you allow customers to use the toilet if they didn't buy anything? Why or why not? I told you no more customer using washroom. Too much cleaning. They can think pair share this. How many English words can you think of for toilet? Um, toilet, restroom, washroom. Uh, the facilities, the can, the loo, the john, the shitter, the... Anyways, that's uh, quite a few. I think that most people could think of about four or five, at least. And finally, what are some examples of basic human rights? I... Washroom is a basic human right. Everyone needs a washroom. <laughs> The biggest key for a pre-listening section of a listening activity is to keep it short. At most, it should only be about five minutes long. So after you've set the context or try to receive students' own opinions, it's time to get into the task, the while listening task. It's oftentimes very common to provide comprehension questions or something to fill in the blank when doing a while listening task, but I think we can be more creative than that. For example, you could give students a map and while listening to a given text, perhaps for directions, they could have to label buildings or draw a line to show the path that the person took. Or you could show three film trailers and have students select the movie poster that matches the film trailer that they listen to. You could have students draw symbols on a weather map by listening to an English weather report. Or finally, you could have students fill out a hotel registration form by listening to a customer's request for a room. The best part about these kinds of tasks is that they model the type of response that might be given to a listening experience in real life. And it provides a more reliable way of checking understanding. This is also from John Field.